Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to walk you through how to connect GitHub to Power BI. Whether you want to visualize your repository activity, keep tabs on issues, or just get smarter insights from your code base, this tutorial will have you linking the two platforms in just a few straightforward steps. By the end, you'll be able to transform your GitHub data into beautiful, interactive reports in Power BI, so let's get started. First things first, we need to sign into the Power BI service, which is essentially the online hub where all your data comes together. Head over to app Power BI com and log in with your credentials. If this is your first time here, don't worry, the interface is very user-friendly and you'll see plenty of options in the main navigation pane. Just make sure you're using the account where you want your GitHub data to live. Once you're logged in, take a look at the navigation pane on the left side of the screen. You'll see an option called Apps. Apps in Power BI are like prepackaged solutions. They help you quickly connect to outside services like GitHub without writing any code. Click on Apps and then look for the Get Apps button, usually at the top right. This is the gateway to all the extra data sources you can bolt onto Power BI. Now we need to locate the GitHub app. You'll see a search box, just type in GitHub. Sometimes you'll get a few results, especially if you have other integrations available, so make sure you pick the official GitHub app from the list. If the icon looks familiar and the description matches what you expect, go ahead and click on it. After you've selected the GitHub app, you'll see an option called Get It Now. This is a common step for installing new apps. Just click Get It Now and you may be asked to confirm your choice by clicking Install. The install process is usually quick, but if it pauses for a few seconds, don't worry, Power BI is just setting everything up under the hood. Once installation finishes, you'll see a notification pop-up that says, your new app is ready. Sometimes you might have to refresh your browser, but usually there'll be a handy button right there that says go to app. Click that and you'll be taken directly to the app's landing page inside Power BI. This is like opening a shiny new dashboard, ready for you to connect and explore your GitHub data. In the GitHub app itself, you'll find a prompt to connect your data. Look for the Connect Your Data button, it might be right in the center or at the top. Click it and Power BI will ask for the necessary permissions and credentials. The actual connection process might involve signing into your GitHub account and granting access to the relevant repositories. If you hit any snags, double check your permissions, sometimes the app needs a little extra access to sync the data you want. And that's it, you've just linked your GitHub account to Power BI. From here you can start importing data, customizing your dashboards and building visualizations that make sense for your projects. Remember, connecting powerful tools like GitHub and Power BI is all about saving time and uncovering new insights, so you're on the right track. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below if you have any questions, or if you ran into any issues, I'm always happy to help. And if you want more step-by-step -step tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.